Hi, my name is Shady Atia. I'm an architect and researcher and I'm presenting the first tutorial for a software tool called Zebo. Zebo is a decision support tool uh, assisting the design of net zero energy buildings and it's mainly focused on uh, hot climates, in this case Egypt, during early design phases. Um, you should start by making sure that the package that you have received is installed properly in the right directory. Once you enter in the folder copy everything you find there and then you go to the energy plus folder which is located on the C drive and make sure that everything you have copied from the package is in the uh, energy plus folder once you are done with that you click on the uh, Zebo version 3 uh, folder and you will find uh, the first uh, the interface will start by uh, by introducing the software uh, then you can see the main concept of the tool having a uh, knowledge base integrated in and uh, decision support simulation lab and a code compliance uh, option uh, for this focus I will focus on the tool uh, by clicking on it you will have to design uh, alternatives mainly if you'd like to design the passive design go with passive design elements or active solar design elements so we'll go with the passive and then you will find different typologies that the tool can uh, simulate and we will start with a apartment house uh, in a row housing uh, the first uh, this is mainly the, the interface developed and you can see that this black uh, uh, box is mainly concerned with the input and the rest is concerned with the output and the input uh, starts by requiring or asking for what kind of uh, weather file you are in or the climate uh, location you can start to um, decide uh, on the orientation of the building what are the dimensions of this kind of shoebox representation concerning the height, the width and the the breadths and then you can move to define kind of uh, window or the glazing area in this sense and you can define it by uh, setting also the glazing type for each window after done af after getting done with that you can also define the shading devices for the north in this sense or the south in the back or, or you can just switch it off if you don't have any shading devices the same goes for uh, other options and finally you can define your wall type and the roof type including the insulation and including the thickness of, of each uh, insulation. Once you are done with inserting the input you click on the energy plus icon and then the energy plus uh, the, the uh, tool will call the energy plus uh, engine and run the simulation for the whole year. Uh, it takes maybe a couple of uh, less than one minute until you get the final results once you are done with that you can move to the output and visualize the output so it is finished now and uh, now you can click for example on the energy breakdown uh, that will take also a couple of seconds uh, the same for the monthly consumption uh, it will take some time but uh, the idea here is to visualize the output yes the idea here is to uh, visualize the output and you can create a kind of breakdown with the cooling heating lighting and plug loads and in the same time you can s see the energy consumption profiles over the whole year um, this chart is mainly based on visualizing the output uh, of the uh, outdoor temperature so that you can see uh, the output uh, outdoor temperature in relation to the relative humidity it will show, show up in a minute uh, those uh, output bars are mainly uh, or graphs are mainly concerned with comparing alternatives so they allow you to uh, visualize the result output result here and then go and compare back and forth here you go uh, you can start by doing that and here you can see the outdoor temperature and this kind of uh, green color is mainly the comfort range once you are done with that you can start again as another simulation by changing for example another parameter for example selecting Arish for example and you run a second simulation you wait for the result and then you can visualize the output on another uh, graph um, the third feature after that that I will show is related to the sensitivity analysis and uh, 
this is mainly interesting to see that how you can simulate different simulation for the same uh, parameters just visualize this first here the same goes here and as you can see you can start to compare and see what was the difference of performance you can also visualize it on this graph but then it will delete the previous one the same goes here and you can do the same also with the outdoor anyway uh, the next uh, element important element I would like to introduce is the PA feature which is mainly parametric analysis uh, and it allows you to run uh, the whole parameter range for any parameter let's say you wanna run in one time all the different orientations and see which is which is the best performing uh, orientation you can do that by clicking on the energy plus uh, icon and once you've done that it takes uh, little time to get the, the results and then you can visualize it for example here as you can see this is the result of the orientation and you can see it in a different kind of format in a kind of ta tabular format the, the the advantage of the sensitivity analysis that it supports you before taking the decision so you can have a kind of perspective on the different uh, performance of each uh, variation of or interval of the parameter uh, once you are done with that um, I would like to show you the last feature of the tool which is mainly uh, the active uh, uh, system that I showed in the beginning and the active systems mainly help with uh, uh, visualizing uh, with designing the solar systems so you can start by uh, uh, setting a location let's say Cairo and then after that you, the, the software asks you what is the uh, module technology for PV technology if you don't know there's a help feature where you can find different uh, uh, help features and what's the difference between different types and so on this is for more kind of knowledge base once you decide for example you select the polycrystalline or a tilted roof or a flat roof you can go to the next window which will assist you with decision making also it shows a uh, different simulation that had been taken place and it uh, guides you with an optimal orientation and a optimal panel tilt for the PV so based on that for example I start to select ok zero orientation is the best and for Cairo in this case the tilt angle will be 30 then the last question would be if I have a nominal peak or efficiency of the PV let's say I, have, I know that the efficiency is 14% once I'm done to that I can go to the results and this is the result visualized on the x, uh, x axis you can see the area and on the y uh, axis you find the electricity uh, kilowatt uh, per hour per year um, you can also make it more precise and you start but let's say seeing if you have for example you have a, an apartment that consumes 3000 uh, kilowatt hour and you would like to know what's the equivalent for that of, of uh, PV area then you can get a number of 17 let's say roughly or 15 16 uh, square meter of uh, PV uh, area for that that's the end of the tool I'm looking for uh, your feedback and the people who will uh, use it uh, I think we will have a lot of uh, questionnaires and surveys to fill thank you very much